Well, first of all, I'd like to say our, our condolences to the Yaradua family and to all Nigerians in the Biafra, Biafra and people who are listening, because we are still quite surprised. I think at the moment uh, um, the nation, even though we knew Mr. President had been down and been unwell for quite a long period of time, we are all quite shocked um, whether uh, a lot of foreign media will say that they expected it, but a lot of Nigerian citizens, we expected him to recover. Um, and let me ask you, if I, if I may, I mean, as you say, his death was sudden. Had there been, to the best of your knowledge, any kind of sudden deterioration in his health in recent days or hours? Well, you know, it, nobody's actually known the state of Mr. President's health. We knew that it was very bad because we haven't heard from him for so long now, but nobody thought that it was quite this bad. Mr. President was always a very quietly spoken, very humble man, but a very serious man. Um, but we all hoped and believed that he would return and uh, he would you know, get better. And, and how was the news um, delivered to you? Well, I heard via a telephone call, I had just left the presidential villa, and uh, as I was getting into the car, I got a telephone call to say that Mr. President had sadly passed away, um, and I was absolutely stunned. Not because uh, the, I had just seen him, because nobody had seen him for um, quite a long period of time, um, but just the fact that I believed that he was going to get better and uh, would resume. I mean, obviously, you're very closely connected to the sporting world in Nigeria. Um, what kind of legacy did the former president leave when it comes to football in the country? Well, you know, we're not even talking about the Niger Delta. The Niger Delta, he obviously made enormous strides in the Niger Delta with the militants on granting amnesty. But in the football sector, this was the first president who saw it fit to inaugurate a presidential task force, specifically to advise the president and to help the president on the 2010 World Cup, which is just around the corner. And sadly, he's not going to be around to see his achievements, because I think we'll do very well there. But uh, he's made a lot of giant strides in Nigeria, a very transparent president. And how do you think the country will manage in its transition now? Obviously, Vice President Jonathan Goodluck has been in power for some time. At least he's assumed the presidency some time ago. Well, we're fortunate because uh, um, the acting president, uh, Jonathan Goodluck, has come in and equally taken the mantle and uh, done some uh, the transitional period. I think we've now stabilized. Had it have been a sudden death, there and then, with no illness, I think there could have been one or two problems. But uh, the acting president has come in and done a very good job and, uh, uh, and steadied the nation down. I think apart from the shock of the death, I think that uh, business will be as usual. Uh, and with Jonathan, you will be sworn in in hours, I would presume.